Hello guys, welcome back, and here we are with a very beautiful problem, guys. Um, the problem revolves around this um, simple idea and uh, a very deep question that how to find the critical points when the Hessian matrix is has a determinant zero. So let's uh, you know discover the path of solution. By an example, so f x y is a multivariate function uh, which is given like this, and the next step is to find the critical point of f of x comma y. You have to find the critical points. The critical points is defined by the points where the double de the partial derivatives are zero, and uh, observe that. If you do the partial derivatives, you get this corresponding two equations. And now let me solve these equations for you. We get six x square minus six x minus six y. If you take this on the both sides, let's let's remove the six. If you divide by minus six on right hand on the first equation, you get x square minus x minus y is equal to zero. And if you divide by six on both sides from the second equation, you get x plus y square plus y is equal to zero. And if you add it up, you will get that you get this cancel, this cancel, so you get x square plus y square must be equal to zero, which implies that x y is equal to zero. Zero. Therefore, this is the only critical point that satisfies this equation. Zero comma zero. So what do we do next? We find the Hessian matrix. The Hessian matrix is defined like in two cross two. It's in for two variable. It's the f x y f f x x f x y f y x and f y y. This is a very similar similarity with the variance covariance matrix. Okay. Yeah, all of them have a similar structure. There's a you know there's reason to that. But let's. Come here. That observe that if you calculate here, this this turns out like general in this functional case, f of x comma y given function, you will get this corresponding Hessian matrix x comma y point may. The question is that what is the like how what's the step after this? After the step, you find out whether the Hessian Hessian matrix has what what are the eigenvalues of this Hessian matrix? If they are all positive, that's it's a positive definite matrix. Then that point of critical point at that point, let's say here each of at that at that point x comma y, the Hessian matrix uh, has positive eigenvalues. Then that point is the minimum. If it has negative eigenvalues, that point is the maximum. And it, if it has non-zero eigenvalues, both positive and negative, but non-zero. Then it's a saddle point. The issue comes when the one of the eigenvalues is zero. At that point, it's actually cannot be classified. It's similar to the one-dimensional case. For example, if you take x square, or if you take x cube, okay, my x cube x to the power four and minus x to the power four. The double derivative of all of them is zero at point zero, but here it's a inflection point. Here it's a maximum. Here the minimum, and here it's a maximum at zero point. Similarly, here if the Hessian matrix or the determinant has zero, or they has all one of the eigenvalues zero, it's equivalent to the fact the determinant is zero. Then actually, it cannot be classified. We can get examples where both all of them have all of the cases happen. So, how will you actually solve this problem? Why? Because let's check the determinant of this. If you do the determinant, you will see that the, the Hessian matrix comes out to be six comma six at that point zero comma zero, and you get the determinant of H to be zero. Can put even x and y to be six six here to get it. The question is that how will you find out what type of critical point it is? Because the critical point is of the nature f of x is and both the partial derivatives are zero. 
So the idea is that at the point around zero, that means around the values around the x comma y point zero, you have to check how the behavior of the function is. It may be a, you know, around that point it can be totally at the f f of x comma y also at that point f of zero zero is zero. So therefore you have to check around that point whether it's totally there is an interval where it's above zero, more than zero, or below than zero, or includes both above zero and below zero, like points. Greater than zero and less than zero points. Let's check that. So if you take this corresponding line, corresponding path, y is equal to minus x. That means this is let's say the x y plane. If you check along this line, uh, the functional value is it turns out to be minus x is cube, minus four x is cube. The idea is that therefore for x Greater than zero, that means here it's negative value. Okay. The function takes negative value. So we take this function takes negative value, and here it takes positive value. That means along this line, if you observe along this line, it's minus four x cube in some sense. It's like negative and positive values. So therefore, the idea is that around arbitrary interval around zero comma zero, around arbitrary interval around zero comma zero, whatever interval you take around zero comma zero, you get both positive value and both negative values because of the minus four x cube. Whatever interval you take around zero comma zero, from the right hand side, because any interval you take. There is a portion of this y is equal to minus y is equal to minus x line, and there is a portion on the this both the portions are there. So on this red portion, so let me draw it for you a bit carefully. So it's a portion. Now the red portion is the x greater than zero part, and the blue portion is the x less than zero part. So here the value is positive, and here the value is negative. Whatever interval you take, even you take smaller intervals, it still stays the same. However small you take. It contains a part of that. So that means our arbitrary interval around zero comma zero, you get both positive and negative values. That means for an arbitrary interval around zero comma zero. You get more than the function value of zero comma zero and less than the function value of zero comma zero. That means what? It's a critical point. What is the definition of a saddle point? A saddle point is a point which is a critical point, but not it is not it is neither a max local maximum local minima. So now this point is cannot this point cannot be a local maximum local minima. Why? Because there is an interval. Whatever interval you take around that point, there is there is numbers greater than that value function value and less than that function value at that point. So it can now never be local maxima because local maxima contains an interval where it's entirely greater than that functional value point, and similarly for the local minima. So this is a critical point is not a local minima, local maxima, which is neither local minima, not a local maxima, and a critical point that is called a saddle point. And exactly that is called the inflection point in two dimensional, one dimensional functions. So this is the idea. So therefore, by this path method, we can actually find out that the functional value. By comparing the functional value at that point, you can find out that it's actually a saddle point. It's hard to do for the. Maybe it's easy to do for. Um, maybe it's easy to do for even local interval taking. So, like by taking local interval, you can also find out whether it's more than that value or less than that value. Maybe it helps. Who knows? So therefore, this thing really helps. This process, taking a path and comparing at that value, actually helps you understand. Better, what type of critical point is that? I hope it helps, guys. A lot of problems are based on this in IDJ also, and this helps you understanding and discovering uh, what happens in the Hessian matrix as a determinant is zero. That is, one of the eigen values is zero. I hope you enjoy this problem, guys. I hope you learned a bit more. And stay tuned and stay blessed, guys. I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions or different ways of attacking this problem, do let us know in the comments. All the best, guys. Also, if you're looking for the courses to help in your preparation for ID Jam, MS, or ISIM, start do check down the description below. All the best. I will see you in the next video.
stay tuned and stay blessed.